I was working one day and I was driving between sites. A semi-truck blew a stop sign and T-boned me. That resulted in me breaking my neck, uh, C6, C7 level. Basically, I've just spent the last three years like trying to figure out life again and how it's all gonna work out. And sometimes I wake up and I feel all right, and then other days I wake up and my blood pressure is pretty low. I get really lightheaded and dizzy and uh, like my ears can start ringing. It was a pretty big learning curve, I guess, not realizing how much your blood pressure does affect you. So after spinal cord injury, pe people are in this battle between high and low blood pressure. It's extremely labile and it can be life-threatening. Our estimates are that a, just over half the people with spinal cord injury have blood pressure instability in some form or another. So that's millions of people. We published two papers actually in Nature and Nature Medicine, two of the premier journals in the world, showing that this therapeutic approach where you stimulate the spinal cord after a spinal cord injury actually treats not just the low blood pressure, but also these life-threatening spikes in blood pressure.